It's been weeks since Big Brother Niger season 9 No Lose Guard ended. But guys, I have to say, the was was is yet to come. What am I talking about? Guys, take a look at this picture of Onyeka, aka Biggest O. The picture she took uh, when she was doing her media round. And then take a look at this picture from Cassia. Guys, I have to say, this ongoing beef between Onyeka and Cassia is not going to end any moment from now. Because tell me why people are comparing and contrasting. Saying uh, Onyeka is the blueprint that Kessia was copying Onyeka. At the end of the day, these two ladies are looking nice. These two ladies wanted to feed you guys their fans. So why are you comparing them? But at the end of the day, it is what makes the show entertaining. And I like that. On another note, guys, Onyeka's fans have been bombarding her with gifts. I'm talking about cake, dollar. Guys, just the amount of love Onyeka is receiving from her fans and her fan base. Guys, I have to say, a lot of people are not happy yes a lot of people are not happy with the amount of love onyeka's fans are showing her and i have to say guys at the end of the day no matter the hate you guys have for onyeka my core belief is onyeka is still the number one when it comes to playing the game playing big brother onyeka is the only housemate that gave us something to talk about i don't care if you hate her i don't care if you love her but i'm still gonna stand on what i'm saying onyeka is the only housemate that is a big brother other material this season onyeka wani x and D, those are the two ladies that delivered what they promised to deliver and guys to make the matters uh, or on a more serious note or a more lighter note the voting have been opened yes big brother just released how we voted for this season i'm talking about from week one to the last day of the voting system and guys i have to say yo looking at these voting lines looking at how you guys voted i'm like wow at the end of the day it doesn't matter how much you are loved or how much you think you know about big brother if we the viewers don't find what we are looking for you might not find because i could remember guys i could remember when this show was going on a lot of people were saying victoria 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 that victoria was better that victoria was this that victoria was this nobody regarded onyeka nobody regarded onyeka and to couple with the fact that onyeka made it into the bottom four at the first week automatically that kind of sealed See, see, that, that kind of made everybody hate her and also the game she played in the house because i've seen a lot of videos i've seen a lot of people calling her name saying she's a pathological liar saying she's a she has the heart of a demon all sort of things and i keep asking people have you guys gone back and watched onyeka's introduction video have you guys gone back and watched the first time we saw onyeka the questions ebuka asked her and what she replied the first week conversations this house made had have you guys listened to that conversations because if if you listen to that conversation uh, if you listen to that conversations and you see onyeka that at that moment you will know that oh at least this girl is giving us what she promised she's going to give a lot of people are saying yes that onyeka is entering every people's uh, ship that she say uh, that she's damaging every people's ship even those that uh, she considered her friend first week first week into that house onyeka said whatever ship you guys are planning to build i am going to insert myself in that ship i made a video about it go watch that video she made that statement in face of everybody everybody was laughing but at the end of the day she delivered she meant what she said she said in the first time we saw her that if you want to cry she will cry better in whatever strategy you're coming up with she will steal it and deliver and she's been delivering but enough said guys let me show you how the voting line was uh, or how you voted yes how you voted so for the first week guys i'm just gonna be giving you the first three housemates with the highest vote yes the first three uh, i'll be putting the pictures of the other housemates and what their voting percentage was so just take a look at it and uh, let me know so the first uh, for the first two week, guys we had one x handy topping the chat i have to say guys for that kind of pool i don't know what happened if one didn't deliver on what people were looking for or i don't know because for the first week almost all these housemates were up for possible eviction and for one x and d to be ranking number one with all the uh, votes i think it could have been 
that day we were the winner of the show but along the line maybe something happened and people decided okay you know what i don't want to crown this person the winner and i coming in second is a double k and then coming in third guys this is the one i didn't see coming nelita yes guys nelita pair came in second during the first week so i'm like i'm looking at myself and i'm like wow how did they manage that but at the end of the day uh, Anita is a beauty queen so I think her pageantry and everything bring, brought out a little bit of light to her and then she coming into Big Brother a lot of people are still going to support her so for the second week guys that is when the show started that is when people started saying okay I'm going to be voting for this person I'm going to be voting for this person these are the pairs I want to win these are the pairs I want to win and I have to say guys K squad yo I'm giving you guys your flowers because you guys stood on business like you guys stood on business and you guys delivered like when I'm talking about delivering you guys we are giving uh, Kere and Kasia vote after vote after vote and the funniest part about all these things is you guys were not making noise on the TL nobody was making noise but you guys was delivering on the vote so for the second week Double K emerged the winner of the voting pool when he X and he came in second and then a lucky turn of event from bottom three to top three. Onyeka, I'm talking about the Checker sisters. The Checker sisters came in third for the second week. And for the third week, Double K again came in first. Checkers, like I don't know what Onyeka was doing in that house, but she played the game. And to see that she jumped from bottom four, top three to top two. In a space of two weeks, guys, I have to say massive shout out to Oni Stars uh, fan base. So for the third week, Double K came in first, Shakers came in second, and S's, guys, S's. <laughs> I'm still shocked. S's came in third. Guys, let me know down below, guys. Let me know down below. As I'm reading out this whole uh, voting and uh, pool. Let me know who are you surprised that they made it in the top three. Who are you surprised? Like, who shocked you the most with the percentage of vote they got? And guys, remember, if this is your first time coming across my channel, all you have to do is just smash that subscribe button, turn on your post notification, so you'll be notified whenever I drop a new video. And don't forget to smash that like button. I will appreciate that. So for week five, guys, another number one. Oh, sorry, for week four, we have the K again, when X and the coming in second, and Shaka's coming in third. For week five, Double K again, when X handy coming in second, AC is coming in third. Four weeks six, Big Brother, that was the week Big Brother dissolved the whole pairing system and uh, gave them a free uh, week of no voting. So for the seventh week, the seventh week saw Kerire topping the chart again with Victoria coming in second and Tofa. Guys, that was the most surprising one out of all this. Tofa came in third on week seven. Tofa, Tofa. T-Boy came in third on week seven. But moving on, guys, for week eight, Cassia came in first, Nelly came in second, and Anita came in third. For week nine, Waini came in first, Onyeka came in second, and Nelly came in third. And we already know what happened on the last week of the show. Kirire came in first, crowning him the big brother Niger Nulu's guard winner. Waini came in second, and Onyeka came in third. Now that I'm done with the list of housemates and uh, how they topped the shark, guys, let's have a proper conversation about people that said Victoria was better than Onyeka. Yes, I want to be petty, because I'm an Onyeka fan. Let's start there. So, hello of people have been saying yes victoria is better than onyeka blah 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 she's stopping the shot blah 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 you've seen it with your eyes in your eyes in your eyes tell me when and where did victoria top onyeka when and where did victoria top onyeka that is the question i'm going to be leaving you with guys remember i remain your host shooks and uh, you already know what we do here smash that like button subscribe and turn on your post notification so you don't miss out on any video that i'll be dropping soon i'll see you guys on the next one have an amazing evening bye bye